and showcase um, the home while Clint is taking some photos for you. This home, I know um, the, the pictures, of course, you can see a lot, but always in person, it's different, right? So Clint was saying how you do like layers, which here is really nice because you do have to step down, just showing you that way if the video doesn't, okay? And then over here, you have the staircase up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the downstairs and then I'll do an uploaded YouTube version and then go from the second floor separately. Okay, so what's interesting about this home is it's country slash modern, right? They've incorporated both styles. Um, paint, of course, you can easily do away with if it's not your style, but this fireplace could definitely be turned into something really nice and chic. Um, so, of course, that chandelier does not match with this lighting fixture, but could always be switched out to something different. Um, here in the kitchen, it's not completely open, but it's cute. And this is a nice touch right here over the sink. Pretty nice. This would be the pantry. So they don't have like a built-in pantry. So this is the only pantry here. Let's see what this one is. Looks like a lazy Susan. That's nice. Okay. Then I'm gonna come to the utility room. And of course, this is back to the entrance. So this is the utility. Cute little built-in there. They have a doggy door. Wanted to showcase the garage. Of course, you have a three car. This is the first single, and then you have the other two car. Um, what's nice is, that door over there usually in the newer homes that doesn't exist anymore so either no matter who's outside if you wanted to enter there's another way other than the garage doors okay so that's nice and then the doggy door like i said is there and also on that location too so the master bedroom on this one is located downstairs and Clint was a bit worried that the master closet may not be sufficient size. Um, here is the powder before you get to the master. The one thing I do like about this, I'm a fan of pocket doors, so I do like that, but the, pro the close proximity, or I should say away from the kitchen. I hate having a powder right by the kitchen and so here it's not which is nice okay so again you've got some steps up so step step up into your master so again you got a modern ceiling fan with some vintage curtain uh, decor window treatments that part is I know your style not sure about the fan. And then in here, check it out. <laughs> this is where it really gets modern. So down on this side, this could possibly be salvageable and I can totally see how you can make this work with your style. But here is the backsplash, okay? And so eventually you may want to change out the backsplash. Um, and here's the tile. He was letting me know that y'all are currently upgrading the tile and the vertical, it's not just the color, but the pattern here may not be what you are interested in. But again, you know, one of the positive things is it just, it's still on the market. They haven't received any offers. So what that means is for you guys, I might be able to come in 
a tad lower than what it's at potentially. So that in the future, you'll feel better about having to do. Now there's a spider that Clint pointed out right there. Yikes. But anyway, they're using this space for storage. And he said that you don't iron anymore, but I felt like you would be somebody who would appreciate this. Who knows? Okay, now this is the closet. So this is the only closet for the owner's retreat. And so that may be something to, you know, have to work around. And then you've got your linen slash, you know, storage. Okay, so this is the downstairs. I'm going to go upstairs and showcase that for you.